Good morning, it's Erin from Earth Healer Movement. I have another, another Fabletics fit on today, and as I was turning on the video, I heard Mermaid. So, this is like this ocean teal green. It's a very dark teal. And then I have this Fabletics bag. And excuse the background noise. So that's the blender. My daughter is making either a protein smoothie or a fruit smoothie. I'm very proud of her. So let's just ignore that. If you can hear it, here, I'll close the door. But it might get really hot in here if I close the door. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out my makeup case. And yeah, it, it's already getting hot in here. I have to open the door and turn the fan up really hot. Okay, and take my slippers off. Okay, so I'm just gonna wear some tan slides. These pillow slides because I'm doing DoorDash. So, and Amazon. I'm an Amazon seller. Okay, I already did my Meaningful Beauty skincare. Now I'm going to go in with Urban Decay Primer. So I guess I'm doing like a kind of like a, I'm hearing Sultry Mermaid look. It is like Halloween season, so the makeup can get a little bit more intense. Okay, I'm opening my brush thingy, getting my foundations, my setting sprays. Morphe um, Set and Bake, my Morphe palette, Face Palette, might as well open it, I was getting a vision right now of Elon Musk um, and that robot, and then um, I'm also being told to like um, release an old video that I did because I held on to it I didn't post it and it was about that like about robots um, and so it was almost like a foretelling of the future it was it was like I kept thinking about it like most of the day okay so first of all I'm going to go in with See, I kind of uh, went out of order a little bit, so I need to put my palette back. Okay. I'm going to go in with this darker contour, because it doesn't really matter what you start with. And this is what I grabbed. I'm just going to go on the top of the brow, I mean top of the lid a little bit with this inside and then I'm going to put like a lighter color concealer in the spots that need that so I'm going to cover up like any like spots or shadows with this I need to get more of this. This is number 385. And then I'm going to go in with 350. This is really light. So the two will blend good. So I'm going to put some in the inner corner and out here. Going upwards. 
and I can put like a little bit here around these laugh lines and then I want to do like a highlight on my nose and on the tip and then here Life, 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 life. <laughs> I was getting some crazy visuals uh, where that was coming from. So when we get information, we just need to sit with it and use our own discernment and not just believe everything that we hear from the people because they have their own agendas and jealousy and hatred of others like these people that you don't really know and they're talking about other people So it's easy for like a whole group of people to gang up on one person and spread lies and rumors. And so And then if you believe that, you're an, you're just like them, you're an accomplice to all of it and you're like in that group of people that are mean bullies that are like liars and manipulators and then you're stuck with that group of people so beware Make your own decisions in life. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my foundations. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm gonna put the contour on after the foundation. Normally I do it like before, but you can do it after as well. So today is a Monday, and um, I'm excited to start the week. It's a little bit late right now. I got, I just got a vision of Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So that's what it's kind of like, like this like loner girl that's like studying and trying to be better, trying to get herself out of this town. <sighs> Learning about things that she's excited about and, and interested in and just like keeping to herself, wanting to better her life for her family. That's not like, um, 
like not caring about the guys that are coming around like all flashy like Gaston. I have a Gaston in my life that comes around and he's like this flashy guy that all the women like fall over. Like, oh my God, they're, look at that, look at him. I'm like, you have no idea. <laughs> you don't want him. But I don't say that, but well, I don't know if I've ever said that to anybody. I don't think so, but like, whatever. It shows their who they are when they say that kind of stuff. It's like you don't even know him. But he is very charismatic and stuff, but he's just the most awful person. And he hides it so well. He's literally a master con artist. And um, the, the things that he put me through are just so traumatic that I literally wanted to hide away from and just be by myself. But I still, I tried dating and stuff, but it was just awful. So now I'm going to go in with the contour stick. I'm not even wearing yellow, so I don't know why. I was getting, oops, I don't want to have a crooked nose. Oh, that other one, I said Russell Wilson, but it was like Owen Wilson. <laughs> but my nose looked like Owen Wilson when I tried to do like a contour. That was funny because I looked it up afterwards. Because I knew he did a film with like, I think it was Kate Hudson. So I looked it up by that. And I was correct. It was Wilson. Because I was hearing Wilson. Sometimes the stuff that I say, um, like I said, Trump, like Brown University, but he went to Wharton University. So he transferred from some, like, he went to some, if I'm correct, I forget. Um, I think he, he went to some Navy military academy schooling at the age of 13. So I'm sure he has like abandonment, probably issues with his family, with his parents being shipped away to like, I'm hearing like boarding school. Cause like money was the objective. Um, I'm hearing Naval Academy, Pittsburgh, not sure, Pennsylvania. If I can recall. Okay, I'm going to do some of this Ritz. I'm loving this from ColourPop. But, um, what was I saying? go in with this Morphe bake, set and bake. I'm going to get this brush out. I'm hearing like the name of the brush. It's like Luxie. And uh, just go down to in you know, like a triangle shape like towards my nose. up. 
looking good. So every time I try to have a relationship, some crazy stuff happens. When when I'm really in love with somebody, it's just like just crazy stuff happens. And then all the other ones are just like, eh, not interested. And then it's like so annoying. So Okay, I'm gonna go in with the face palette contour. And it's so, it's like I just wanna be by myself and I don't wanna be bothered by people. Like, like right now there's this guy that's like really annoying that's like trying to like hit on me every time I go into the Safeway store. He's like the cart guy and it's so annoying. I just want to say, can you just leave me alone? And that's what I'm about to do. And it's sad. It's like, I don't want to do that, but it's like, dude, leave me, like, get the hint. I'm not interested. He already tried to ask me out and stuff, and I said no, and he's still like, I don't know. He's just really annoying. And he's not at my league at all. He's like literally, I don't know, just literally like, what are you, who do you think that I am? It's, it's literally pissing me off. It's like, do you think that you even, like, what are you thinking? our society it's our society so it's like I can't really get mad at him or he's like something's wrong with him it's like he's m mentally something's wrong so I try to be nice to him because I don't want to like I don't know I shouldn't even be nice I don't even want to talk to him. But I was like smiling and stuff because I was trying to be nice. I didn't want to be mean. Because I'm sure he does that to so many women. And he has like some mental issues. And I kind of could get a read on him like... <laughs> So this is what I got from him is that he's kind of like getting older and he has some mental problems and he's the one that like gets all the carts at the grocery store. So you kind of feel sorry for him. So women probably do talk like not talk to him, but like feel sorry for him. But, like, the way that he's going about all of it, he's probably getting advice from people about how to hit on girls and stuff. And so he's, like, using those tactics, and it's, like, it's just so annoying. But he's being sweet, so it's, like, kind of, like... He's like, oh, I'll get the cart for you. You don't have to touch a thing. And I'm like, no, it's okay. I'll get it. I don't like. And then um, he's like, oh, what are you getting? Like for door, he knows I do DoorDash. Like he'll always like say hi to me whenever I come in. Like he'll be like, oh, hi, ma'am. How are you doing? And like last time he told me like, like, I don't know, like I was pretty or something, if I, I don't know, but, and I was like, okay, thanks, like, 
All right, so here, this is perfect, this color. It like really matches me today. Oh great, it's like Fallout City over here. Fallout is when the, you can feel, it's like crumbs come onto your under eye. So I might have to redo my under eye. But I did put that powder on it. So sometimes like when I wipe that off, I can get the, the residue from this one with it. This is really pretty. It has like some sparkle in it. But it is kind of light with this. But it's good. I love it. Just put more on. This is very mermaidy color, and especially the sparkle and stuff. And my hair. I took a spiritual bath last night. So depending on if I have take a shower in the morning or a spiritual bath at night, like my hair is going to be different. Or if I don't, um, if it's like, if I don't wash my hair for a little bit, it's going to be different. Like the curl and stuff because it's all natural okay I'm gonna go under I'm gonna get a different brush I'm gonna get this this one I'm gonna go with the little end and I'm gonna bring this under my eye I love it with the blonde hair, it just looks so mermaidy. But mermaids have different color hair. There's redheaded mermaids, there's brunette mermaids, and blonde. Okay, so this palette is Profusion Festival, and it has great colors in it. It's pretty, like, retro. I didn't get just get it. I got it a while ago, and I just didn't really use it for a while. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some highlight just on here. I just got the word economics, so, and I'm hearing like economic shutdown, that there's more and more talk about this like economy like crashing and that they're like lying about the, how heavy of a problem that this is right now. To prolong the crash like to so people are trying to like scurry and hurry to like plan for the crash so they can get out of the market like with top dollar And they're going and investing in like gold. I'm also hearing bonds, but I heard gold is like really go good. <sighs> it 
and then I also heard foreign markets. So they're taking their money out of the US market and putting it into gold and foreign markets. And diversifying your portfolio is like not just different stocks, but different um, mediums like I'm hearing Bitcoin, but that's that's a medium. It's not really a good idea to do Bitcoin. Because I'm hearing like that's consumer funded. So it's that's what I just heard consumer funded because that's not something I would ever say. Um, but it is okay. I okay. I gotta go. I'm just gonna finish my mascara. I already am finished, like, really, with everything. I just need to put my perfume on. I didn't do this highlight, this nude highlight right here. And I probably would have put some Becca on, but in some setting spray. crash. I'll talk to you again later. Peace, love, and light. Bye, guys.